It was once said that there is no medicine like hope, no incentive so great, and no tonic so powerful as the expectation of something tomorrow. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to use that hope to your advantage instead of being taken advantage of by it, namely by using rebates. My name is Gabriel Smith. I'm the Chief Evangelist for Price Effects and have over 20 years experience in pricing, profitability, and rebate management. In this video, we'll cover what makes rebates a best practice. We'll talk about different types of rebates and what behaviors they incentivize. We'll talk about what makes rebates hard. And lastly, how to use rebates effectively at your organization. So what is a rebate? A rebate is an incentive that's paid to a customer or partner after an outcome is achieved. So it doesn't show up on the invoice as a discount that the customer gets up front, but it's something that after you verify that the outcome is achieved, that you pay after that. Let me ask you a question. Would you pay your child their allowance before they do their chores, or do you wait until after? I know I wait until afterwards, and I think most people do as well. When you discount your products or services based on promises of things to come, Effectively, you're paying your customers their allowance before they do their chores. The great thing about rebates is that it allows you to pay for performance rather than promises. In other words, don't smoke the hopium. So what are the different types of rebates that we're talking about here? Rebates vary from things like trade promotions for CPG companies selling through distributors and retailers to programmatic rebates that incentivize either simple or more complex behaviors, market development funds for joint marketing activities, new product introduction rebates, as well as things like more transactional type of rebates like ship and debits or claim backs. So what are the behaviors that you're trying to incentivize with rebates? That's an important question to ask yourself. Most rebates really come down to volume, growth, and share. So pretty simple objectives. But what you see is that rebate structures can be quite complex. One of the things that you wanna think about is to align and try to keep things as simple as possible. So it's a simple behavior that you're trying to incentivize and it should be a fairly simple rebate program in order to drive that behavior. Now, there are more complex behaviors that you can also incentivize with rebate programs. An example of one of those is the value incentive program at Cisco Systems. I was pretty familiar with this because I was the worldwide operational owner of that program and built the system to support it. And the value incentive program is a very complex rebate program, which is meant to incentivize partners to invest in advanced technologies and train people and get people on staff that can both sell and implement those advanced technologies as they come out. Another fairly simple behavior but effective use of rebates is around hunting. If you have a partner network that you want to incentivize to go out and find business and bring it to you, a hunting type of rebate structure can be very effective. An example of that was another program that I was very familiar with at Cisco called OIP, or the Opportunity Incentive Program, whereby partners would register deals with us. We would check to see if that was a deal that was in our pipeline or that another partner had already brought to us. And if not, the partner would qualify for an additional discount on top of their normal discount. So if rebates are a best practice, then why aren't more companies using them? Well, it's because they're hard. Let's take a look at what makes rebates hard for people. First of all, if you don't have a system to manage this, the rebate process can be very labor intensive, manual and error prone. So it takes a lot of people, usually in finance, in order to administer these programs. In addition to that, you run risk of inaccurate accruals that can have a material impact on your profitability, risk of overpayment to customers, as well as things like not understanding the impact on the profitability of your customers and products, and lots of back and forth between various systems. So basically, it can really be an administrative burden for an organization to run rebates without a rebate management solution in place. How can you use rebates effectively at your organization? First, let's use the KISS principle, keep it simple. I've seen so many rebates out there where customers have thousands of different agreements with different flavors and people tend to get very creative. But when you look at the underlying behavior that they're trying to incentivize, again, it's pretty simple, right? Volume, growth, share. Unless you have a really complex set of behaviors that you're trying to incentivize, try to keep your programs simple and try to keep them as consistent as possible. That'll make it easier to administer and it'll definitely make it easier to move those into a system to manage them. The second key is to have an end-to-end -end process that's integrated into all of your different systems. The third point is to consider all of the stakeholders and unintended consequences of your rebate program. Lastly, in order to use rebates effectively, you have 
to be able to account for them when you're looking at the profitability of a customer or a product or even a quilt. So being able to understand how that rebate is going to influence the profitability of a customer when you're looking at what pricing to offer that customer is really a key to get right. Charlie Munger from Berkshire Hathaway once said, show me the incentive and I'll show you the outcome. When we're thinking about rebates, I actually like to alter that a little bit and say, show me the outcome and I'll show you the incentive. In other words, show me the outcome and I'll show you the money. For more information on rebates and how we can help, check out the links in the description and also visit our Learning Center. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy pricing. Thank you.